learn how to design a neon vector ring to place around yourself in easy to follow steps. Firstly, we're going to take an image of ourselves in Photoshop and create a dark and a moody atmosphere. Then we're going to take that image back into Illustrator. This is where we're going to add the neon vector ring effect. Today's tutorial is easy to follow and a step by step process and if you want to skip the process of making the image in Photoshop, skip to the time card in the corner. However, I suggest that you do watch the first part because you will learn a neat technique on how to make an image darker in a skillful manner. You'll want to use a high quality resolution image and mine isn't that great today. I forgot to turn on the autofocus on my DSLR so it's kind of a bit pixelated. Firstly double click the layer to unlock it and then press command or control J to duplicate the layer for a non-destructive workflow. You add a color balance adjustment layer and the trick here is to bring your image down to a more kind of cold tone of colour, away from a bright and warm tone. So play around with your settings until you've achieved that. Then add another adjustment layer, but this time you want to lower the saturation a tiny bit. The third adjustment layer that we're going to use today is the brightness and contrast layer where we want to bring down the brightness of the image. You should have three adjustment layers at this juncture. You can take the eraser tool with a soft brush and a low opacity and use that to remove part of the brightness and contrast layer over yourself which will highlight the focal point of the image. Now take a dark black in the colour palette and draw a shape over the entire image like so. Lower the opacity of the layer by a small amount. We want to rasterize this shape so we can actually edit it and then take the eraser tool once again. This time remove the middle of the dark shape ever so slightly. This is going to reveal yourself in the image a little bit more and also the surrounding areas. You should end up with a pretty decent looking image like mine here, with enough of yourself being shown and also the objects around you. This would allow the neon vector ring to shine light upon this later. Save your image as a JPEG in Photoshop and then head over to Adobe Illustrator for the next part of the tutorial. We're now going to design the neon vector ring effects, so follow along in the step by step process as each part of the tutorial is essential. Open up your image and then resize it down. We want to make it fairly small because the effects we're going to be using today use quite a lot of memory but you don't want to make the image too small. So once resized, lock it down in place. We want to select just a stroke with the white color and then press L for the ellipse tool. We're going to make a ring shape that's going to be surrounding ourselves in the vector image design. You can now press A for the direct selection tool to edit the shape of the ring itself, but I'm just going to leave mine as standard. Press Shift and W for the width tool, or come over to the toolbar and access it here. This is a very important step. You can make the part of the ring closest to the camera a little bit thicker, and then the part furthest away thinner. This will give the illusion of realism and also a 3D effect. You 
going to want to position the ring perfectly on yourself in the image, and we will cut away part of it later, but first we're going to add the neon effects using the appearance panel. Now I actually made a tutorial back on Monday about the appearance panel, so if you missed that and you want to check it out, there's a card in the top right corner. Now outline the stroke of the ring which is going to turn the vector stroke into a vector shape. The first effect that we're going to add in the appearance panel is going to be an outer glow. Make the blend mode normal and then choose your colour of choice with the preview box checked. I'm going to go for a pink today on my design but you can choose whatever floats your boat. Next, to enhance the outer glow effect, add a new fill and drag it below the other layers in the appearance panel. Add a fill of the same colour as your outer glow and proceed to apply a Gaussian blur to that fill. Play with the settings here whilst having the preview box checked. A quick tip that I forgot to show in the actual video was that you might want to drop the opacity of the fill white layer down a tiny bit. Maybe to around something like 80%. Now grab the eraser tool in Illustrator and carefully rub out the area of the neon ring that is not going to be seen because you are in the way. Again, this is just going to further the realism of your design. Now I feel the next step is one of the most important things in this tutorial for making a neat and realistic design. Press P for the pen tool and draw in a shape over yourself where the neon ring would shine its glow on. Flick the stroke over to a fill with shift and X and then add a Gaussian blur. Bring the neon ring to the very front of all design elements and then select the shape that we just made. Head into the transparency window and change the blend mode to overlay or soft light. Copy this with command or control C and then paste it exactly in place with command or control F. Now change this blend mode to either soft light or overlay depending on the first choice that you made just now. Now as you can see the lighting effect looks really neat and real. You need to use this method of drawing in shapes, applying a Gaussian blur and then changing the blend mode over your design. If you do this multiple times and be patient, you can end up with something that looks like this. But yeah, do take your time and do have patience and enjoy the design process. If you thought today's tutorial was useful and fun, share this video on social media and also drop a like down below. Leave a comment letting me know that you learned something today and be sure to check back in tomorrow with more graphic design content. So until next time, design your future today. Peace.